Hi, this is uh, a quick video on turning a HTML5 canvas into a t-shirt. Uh, you can see here I've created a, a Mandelbrot set um, and that's actually sitting inside a, a canvas uh, object. You can see that there. Um, this was created from pseudocode uh, taken from the Wikipedia site. So I'll put this as a link um, in the description and you can check that out. Uh, you can see here, this is the actual JavaScript I used to draw the uh, Mandelbrot. Um, it's not a programming tutorial, but um, you can see here that uh, it's, it's very, very basic code. And yet from that basic code, we're actually able to create uh, a quite a complicated generative design. So to get started, uh, all we need to do is right click on the image. I'm using Chrome. I haven't tried this with other browsers. So if it doesn't work in other browsers, give Chrome a go and click on save image as. And what I'm gonna do is save it as a Mandelbrot PNG. So uh, it's important to save it as PNG and, may, and it actually doesn't give you the option to do anything else, so that's fine. So click on save. Uh, I'm gonna replace the one that I've already got there. Uh, one of the key things is, is with the canvas, make sure it's very large because most of the t-shirt manufacturers would like you to have a, a DPI of uh, 300. Uh, that's dots per inch. Uh, if I go to the uh, zoom, you can actually see here that I've zoomed out quite a way just to show you the actual image, but when we zoom up, it's actually, uh, it's actually quite a big uh, image. It's uh, 2,800 pixels by 2,700 high, uh, just as a, as a rough guide. So what I'm gonna do now is go, oh, that's one I did up earlier, I'm gonna close that. What I'm going to do now is uh, open the Mandelbrot. Now, one of the key things is, is to have, uh, you know, if you're printing off something that you want to uh, have as a t-shirt design, uh, that it's important to have a transparent area. Another thing you don't want to have is semi-transparent pixels. So you can see here that these pixels are either um, they're either, you know, it's on or off. There's no, uh, there's no blurring around the edges. So, uh, if you do have semi-transparent pixels, they do have trouble with the, with the printing. Now, um, it may be that you want to have a big white square around the outside of your design, and that's that's fine. Uh, but um, you can see that with Chrome, it's actually saved it very well. Uh, you know, with the transparency. So the thing that I want to do now is uh, I want to rotate the canvas clockwise, so it's sticking up. Uh, this is actually from an old design that I had. So you can see here. This was actually one of my old t-shirts that I designed and printed in the, in the 90s. And you can see here, this is the uh, silk screen. So I was done using uh, photographic emulsion, which you expose to UV light uh, with the negative and anything that is uh, covered by the, uh, the opaque section of the negative um, stays soft and anything that's exposed to light goes hard and you basically wash out uh, the excess emulsion and what happens is all the ink can go through. So that's, um, that's basically one of, my old, uh, one of my old screens. But things are easy now and we can just send them off to be printed which is great. Uh, I actually want to print this onto darker shirts so what I'm going to do with the image is, um, is go to uh, image adjustments and invert and so I've got a nice uh, white image there and uh, I'm going to go file save. Now again it's important to save it as a PNG or something with transparency if indeed you do want that uh, transparency there. 
So let's go up and open up a new tab. Uh, and let's go to Teespring. And click on Start Designing. Uh, go down to Apparel. Won't wait for the images to load. Start with this. And we click on Art, upload your own, and I'll just go click here to upload, and open up our Mandelbrot PNG. In the meantime, I'll select a shirt colour. Right, okay, so you can see here we've got the Mandelbrot design, and you can see here that it's still, like for this actual size, uh, it's 225 dpi. By reducing it, I could either go back and redo the design and do it on a larger canvas, render it on a larger canvas. But for our purposes, this is actually quite, quite good. Uh, all I'm doing here is I'm gonna center, center the design there we go, that's nice and centered and you can see here that you can actually go through and and select uh, some you know different different colors let's see I'm gonna choose this one the the gray and uh, I'm gonna click on sell this you can select the fulfillment location I usually do both uh, so I usually do US and go back and create um, another one for a U, just duplicate the design. So if I click on sell this, I go through, set your estimated profit to, uh, the profit estimator to one, uh, because it's dependent on, if you set it to three, it's dependent on three people buying the shirt uh, for them to actually print it. If you set it to one and one sells, you know that um, it's going to uh, it's going to be printed and you're actually going to make a profit. Uh, so I'm going to go back and do another T-shirt. Uh, this is the place where you select the different uh, the different colours. I'm going to do a few here and a few here. No. Uh, unfortunately, I'm only able to pick the colours that I wear, but um, you know, I'm sure you'll, uh, I'm sure you'll work out what the the public want. And for this one, we're going to call it Mandelbrot T-shirt. And you can select show the back by default which happens if you click anywhere on the page, usually. Uh, and I'm just gonna call this Mandelbrot ZD, ZR 3D, there we go. And select a category, apparel, artistic. All right, so that's done. And put in my store, ZR 3D, done. And the description is, I'll just call it Mandelbrot T-shirt. You can fill in the description later. Um, I might even put a link back to this video and we click on launch and that's it uh, that's our our t-shirt um, one thing that might be useful for people too is and that's actually going to appear in my uh, US store so you can see here I've got lots more t-shirts you can check out uh, if I right click on this and go copy image address and click on enter, you'll see here that um, it shows up as a very small little thumbnail image. If I change, see how it's got the .jpg, if I change it from .jpg to .png, and if I go up to here and change that to say 720, you can actually get now a nice high res uh, image of your shirt. So this will help you out if you want to um, 
uh, have it in your your own shop uh, and you can play around here with with different values uh, and it'll actually generate you can see there it's gone to 720 now I've got one that's 604 by 719 which is quite a good size uh, and I can now save that and it'll just save as front PNG and I've got a nice high-res uh, copy of the, the shirt. So um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll put a, a link to the t-shirt um, and my store and you can have a look and see if there's anything you're interested in. Um, and thanks for watching. Okay, cheers.